take a moment and think of how many times you take the garbage out in a year. Now think of how much garbage is generated in your neighborhood, your city, or even the country. According to studies, the number of uh, the amount of garbage that was generated in the year 2012 in the whole country was about 250 million tons. Now that is equivalent of about 685 Empire State Buildings weight put together. So what happens to this enormous amount of waste that we generate? After recycling a part of it, two thirds of it is still discarded in the form of landfills or incineration, which is burning to recover heat. Now both these processes produce a lot of environmental pollutants. So I think to myself, is there a better way of doing this? And my answer is yes. Now a more promising way of converting this is to make chemicals and fuels out of it. But how do we do it? Now before the garbage can be converted into something useful, it has to undergo some conditioning. So after separating out fractions like glass and metals, we obtain something that is more refined in the form of garbage pellets. Now, the process of converting the garbage pellets is to undergo pyrolysis on it. Now, pyrolysis is the process where we heat it up in the absence of oxygen. Since there is no oxygen, it just breaks down into the smallest molecules it is made up of, which is carbon and hydrogen. Now, this carbon and hydrogen are present in the form of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which is called as syngas. The process of converting syngas to fuels is already well known. What is more challenging is to convert the garbage pellets into syngas, which is exactly what my thesis is focusing on. Now, the biggest challenge in converting this is the number of components the garbage is made up of. Now, think of the garbage pellet as the bigger circle and the smaller circles as the components it comprises. Now, my approach is to study the bigger circle and the smaller circles separately and then compare the results. Now what I found was the smaller circles were converting as if they're not in contact with each other and thus it is an independent pyrolysis process. And thus the significance of this result is that say we do a garbage conversion study here in Georgia where we generate more peach waste and want to extend the results to say California where they produce say more banana peel waste, all we need to do is replace the peach content with the banana peel content and we have a whole new set of results without actually setting up a whole new plant in California. Now my approach, my efforts in this regard are in the hope that one day we can take the garbage in our houses put it into a machine and get the fuel out of it to put in our cars. Thank you.